everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is episode 5 of Summer Cuts and whoa, that sun was way too bright. We are in a new location. This is my new house. That's Jack over there. Say hi. Bye. Um, this is my new house. Oh my God. I'm going to be doing like, okay, so basically mine the mess, right? This is my new kitchen. It's all going to be changed and renovated. There's nothing wrong with this kitchen as it stands, but and by the way, I'm really, really so sorry if it's so echoey in here, because I can only imagine this camera's only picking up the echo. So bear with me, everything will be fine. So um, the kitchen's not bad, but it's not my taste. Like it's very, um, it's just like too white and clinical. I like really homely feels, like really warm feels and you know, this is our first house and this is the house that I potentially want to have a baby <laughs> and I want to be pregnant in and I want my baby to run around and we want our first dog here. So um, it's just a little bit too modern for me. I, I like a little bit more homely and you know, that's kind of what I like. So I'm going to give you a full house tour in another video, but this video I wanted to do more like um, what I kind of eat in a day. Um, so I haven't had breakfast yet and it's actually 11.30, I woke up at 7 o'clock, I finalised the new 12 week guide, it's my biggest guide you guys, like it's over 100 pages, just a little bit over 100 pages. Um, then I finalised that, I did the Gymshark review, I had a shower, I sorted myself out because when you're moving house, you ain't got no time for yourself, I'm telling you that much now. So I haven't had breakfast and I really fancy something sweet. I don't know why, but I just do. So what I'm gonna make is some toast with peanut butter, banana, and some agava, nectar. So I'm gonna use this toast. It's called Rusk Bakery. It's just normal seeded brown bread. You can use Persian bread as well. Persian bread is super, like good in the protein region and it's vegan. So if you're vegan and you don't know how to get your protein in, um, you know, Persian bread, two slices of Persian bread is 14 grams of protein and that's pretty damn good, especially for bread. So that's why I'm just putting it out there. For bread, 14 grams of protein is freaking good. So I'm gonna have two slices of toast. Two seconds. Jack, do you want some toast? No. Okay. You sound sad. Okay, right, so I'm gonna have two slices of toast. And they're just like these little bits. Whack them in there. Oh, that's so sad. Half of it's hanging out. You don't know supplements until you see this cupboard. Look at all this. Oh, it's so pretty and organized. Oh, peanut butter, yep. Peanut butter, I use this one, Whole Earth, and it's so good, it's like really organic, and it doesn't have like any sugar and stuff for peanut butter, because some companies put so much crap in their peanut butter, and it's so unnecessary, because peanut butter doesn't need all that. So, last time we spoke, I said like, everything was taking its toll on me with revision, and in the terms of like traveling, um, I wasn't really sticking to my routine and obviously now I've moved house um, it's just all over the place however like I'm making it a priority to eat as well as I can it's so easy when you're busy especially when you're studying and especially when you're moving house to just pick up the phone and order pizza because it's so convenient and easy and it's there you don't have to cook you don't have to clean but um, I made it a priority to do like the first thing we did when we moved house is a food shop and I bought everything I needed to buy. And I even bought like pre-chopped veggies just so I, it could be much easier for me to eat healthy. And like the past two to three days I've been eating so, so well, which I'm really freaking like 
proud of myself considering we've moved out. For fuck my life. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Anyway, so I made it a priority to like eat well and eat conveniently as well. So like this is super convenient, this breakfast. And for me, like even if you're allergic to, to nuts, you can put like avocado on your toast. You can have some cherry tomatoes on top of there, some salt and some basmati, basmatic or basmatic vinegar, either one. And that's a really healthy breakfast as well. And it's so, so easy, like chopped avo smashed avocado and toast is like probably the easiest breakfast you can make. Some agave, you can drizzle honey or agave, whatever. It's completely up to you. I just like the taste of agave. So I just drizzle that on top. And if you really like to, I'm gonna put some chia seeds on there as well. Just sprinkle some chia seeds. Mmm, there we go. Breakfast is served. So I am now in Bills with Jack. We just finished recording a little mini video. Wow, I'm really blurry. Whoa. A little mini video for Instagram. And now we've come for lunch in Bills. So we ordered, well I ordered some broccoli, some grilled chicken and some sweet potato fries. And Jack ordered a chicken burger and sweet potato fries. And I also ordered a coffee because I need me some coffee and then some water as well. And this is my lunch. See guys, you can eat healthy when you are eating out. Okay, so we're back home. And I'm gonna head over to the gym now. So before I do that, I had my lunch, which was filling, but I just want something else, just because basically whenever I train legs, I do try and eat a little bit more carbs and protein that day than I normally would, just because when I train legs, I literally get so, so, so tired, because um, it's such a big muscle and it requires a lot of energy to train your lower body than it does with your upper body. That's what I find anyway for myself. So what I'm gonna have is, I wanna have my raspberry BCAAs from Women's Best, and I'm gonna put that in a really big bottle of water and I'm gonna have that and take that to the gym with me. I always sip my BCAAs during my workout. And then now I'm gonna make a shake. And I'm gonna put, I'll tell you what I'm gonna have in my shake. I'm gonna have, two scoops of iso whey and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna blend all this. I'm gonna add one um, handful of oats and then I'm going to add some fresh strawberries in there as well. And finally, some coconut milk, just there. So that's gonna be the ingredients for my shake. So right now I'm gonna mix all of these four ingredients together. You can add a bit of ice as well to make it into a really nice creamy smoothie. And yeah, so I'm gonna have that, go to the gym, and then after the gym I'll have another shake. So I have a shake before the gym, and then another shake after the gym. My BCAAs during my workout. And then for dinner today, I'll tell you guys because I need to upload this so I can't really show you what I'm going to have for dinner but I already know what I'm going to make. I'm going to make some pasta and literally I'll show you what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use some linguine. So just your standard linguine. You can buy gluten free as well. And then what I'm going to use for sauces is this from Tesco. It's really, really nice. Just like this pasta sauce. And I'm gonna mix it in with some king prawns, garlic, onion, and then I'm gonna cut up a courgette. And that's for dinner. And then that is exactly what I'm gonna eat and what I have eaten throughout the day. So see, this is my first time doing a full day of eating with you guys. So you know exactly what um, I ate today and how I trained. So I hope that was really helpful. And um, people think, and they have this misconception of, Oh, but if you're on a cut, you can't really eat pasta, you can't eat, really eat carbs. As you saw, I'm eating my carbs. I had toast in the morning, I'm having pasta for dinner, I'm having oats in my shake, I'm having sweet potato. 
oats and sweet potato, brown toast, you know, they're all good carbs. And especially after leg day, I need me some good carbs. Um, water, my water intake is super high. I have like three to four liters of water every single day. Um, especially when I'm cutting, I try and drink as much water as possible because it really does help flush you out. And everything that I'm eating is quite simple. Like there's no nothing crazy that I'm doing. Everything's really simple. And yeah, I did eat out, but you can still make chicken, sweet potato and broccoli at home. I mean, that's what I have on a regular basis. And even when I eat out, I ordered the same thing. So there is no excuses. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now because I've really gotta to go to the gym. And I'm gonna finish this video at the gym. And so I'm gonna say bye to you now, but I'm not, the video's not ending now, the video's ending after the workout. But I love you always and forever, and I really, really hope this video was somewhat helpful. Make sure you subscribe, that does help my channel out, and it helps me obviously want to continue producing content for you guys because I know you guys like it. Make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it, and bye. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Before you came round I was ready to blow me down Ground.